Hi there guys and gals, it's me again. <laughs> um, you might have seen earlier the cold start video of Owen, my old rat calf, and Trevor, my Frontera. Well now it's the turn of my Vectra GSI. It's not been started for ages. Reason being, I just, last time I had it up and running it ran out of fuel and it started for about two seconds and then it cut out because it had run out of fuel. So. I've just put a battery on, it's only my small one that I use for my Nova, so hopefully it'll start. I've put a gallon of fuel in it, so it might take a few pumps to uh, get it up and running. But uh, I'll have a little bit of a walk around it. I'm just giving it a bit of a hoover out inside because it's been parked up. I think there's some water coming in and it's a bit damp inside. There's a common bit around this back window apparently where it lets water in. It's not got a sunroof so there's nothing nothing like that to let water in just show you inside it and as I say still got quite a lot of mold I'm gonna to have to give it a proper a proper clean when I get a chance I'll give it a bit of a hoover just to get rid of the bulk of it but it's uh, it's not great <laughs> show you in the back as well so there we go in the back yeah so it's mold on the headrest and stuff I'm going to start it up anyway, hopefully, as long as it's got enough fuel with that gallon that I put in it. Hopefully that'll be enough to get it uh, get it started. It needs a major, major clean. Probably being under my big conifer. It just leaves all that crap all over it. So it needs a, a really, really good going over. But I'm hoping to get this back on the road soon and... Uh, I might have to do timing belts on it because I've no idea when it will last done, so that might be a job. Right, let's wander around this side. Da -da -da -da. Here we go around this side, you can just see one of the bits of uh, bodywork that's not great. So it's obviously had a patch of paint redone. As soon as you polish that, it comes up black and shiny, but as you can see, it's a bit of a matte finish. Spiders have left webs all over the place. There's just a bit of rust on arch but it's only surface rust rear discs are actually brand new discs well they were when i put them on uh about a year ago but they're just covered in surface rust now right so on with the task in hand we're in neutral let's see what it does i don't really want to sit in it actually uh, yeah i will sit in it and then I can at least, ooh, <laughs> seat feels damp. Right, push the clutch down as well, which will assist it. So this is only with a one can of fuel. So let's see what it does. So it'll take a while for the fuel to pump through. Might not even have enough fuel to do it. Oh! Nearly, I can hear a fuel pump wearing. I might have to put another can of fuel in. Oh, no, we've got it. Very noisy tap it. They'll soon quieten down. They usually do anyway. <laughs> Oh. Right, it's running. It's running. Can you hear the exhaust? Very nice. I'll just try and squeeze back round to the front of the car. Cabrera. Frontera. There we go. Let it warm up a bit. Oh, that does sound nice. That does sound lovely. Supposed to sound like that. I'm sure it used to sound like that. 
maybe a little bit of tapestry at the top end. I need oil to uh, run through a bit. It's up and running anyway. Just wander back round to the other side. This tree is such a major pain, being in the way. Turn it back off a minute. And try it again now, it's started once. Yeah, them tappets are still. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna run it too much more because them tappets sound a bit tappity. <laughs> I think you might need uh, oil topping up or something, so I shall check that over before I run it again. Just make sure I don't go and do any damage to the engine. Alright then guys, so I'll uh, I'll do another vid once I've uh, done that and I'll do some progress vids on this because I want to get this MOT'd and back on the road and up and running because it's such a nice car. As I say, it's a bit damp inside, got some mould in places on the seats, quite, uh, quite furry in places as you can see. But I want to get it up and running because it is a genuine GSI and I used to drive this car and I used to absolutely love love driving it so i shall uh, see you in the next vid and uh, yeah we'll see you then see ya bye